The most famous advice given to any traders is trend is your friend. So yeah, in today's class let us learn everything that is about trends and make trend our friend. Okay, hi all, welcome to the 24th episode of the complete learning series of stock market investing and trading. And in fact, this is the fourth episode of the complete learning series of technical analysis, which will make you a great trader as well. So as always, I've put all these videos into a playlist. The playlist is available here in the i button. Make sure you watch all the videos in the right order and learn really well. Let's all trade together and grow together. So yeah, as said, you've already learned everything about candlesticks. Now. In today's video, we are going to learn everything about trends. What are the different types of trends in the market? How to identify trends? How to draw trend lines? And finally, how to take good trades based on trends. So when you marry trend analysis with candlestick analysis, you can become a much better trader. And that's exactly what we will do in today's video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. The name is Charishan Sudhin. Welcome to Market Feed. Hi, we're going to learn something very, very important today. We are going to learn everything about trends today. So uh, you would have seen in the introduction, in the title, in the thumbnail also that trend is what we are going to learn, right? And you would have thought, okay, what is there to learn a lot about trends, right? Because there are only three trends in the market, uptrend, downtrend, and sideways trend. What is there to learn a lot about that? And that is where, let me say this, you really have to understand this, right? Like, how much ever you learn, how much ever deep, large strategies you learn from any uh, webinars even, wherever you go, whatever you learn, at the end, what works are the basics. Basics like candlestick patterns, candlestick analysis, and even trend. When you go against the trend, you can actually be in big, deep trouble. So understanding trend in the right manner is super important. So yes, this video can be simple, it can be short, it can be, you might feel that, okay, what is there a lot to learn about trends? But please, please understand that however big you become, eventually I know a lot of you would become big successful traders, my dear students, however big you would become, you will still then be looking into the trends in the market, be still following the trends in the market, take it from me. And that's exactly why I need your full attention to learn everything about trends. Okay, if that is the case, mark your attendance in the comment section. Let's get started. So yeah, we have our presentation here, trend analysis, trend, what is trend, what are the different types of trend, how can we identify trends, how to use trends practically, those are what we are going to learn today. Cool. So the first thing that we have to learn is what is a trend. Now you tell me, we can go by the literal definition of what trend is, right? What is a trend? Nowadays, let me funnily say this, becoming a trader has become a trend now, right? Earlier, I would say becoming a short film maker was in trend. Even before that, becoming a guitarist was in trend, right? So there are different trends which happen wherever we look, right? Even in fashion, if you see, there are certain trends that work. Just like that, in the market also, beat any instrument, there are trends, there are cycles. So when we learned technical analysis, we learned one thing, right? What does technical analysis tell? By looking into the previous things which happened in the market, previous price movement, previous volume movement, we can predict what can happen in the market. What do we look into? Previous price movement. And in the previous price movement of an instrument, what do we look into? Certain patterns and trends. And this certain part patterns and trends can repeat in the future also. And because of that, because we can predict the patterns and trends, we can make money in the future. So what is important? Understanding patterns and trends trends. Let it be in the previous market, which is the previous data of an instrument or in the coming or whatever is happening in the market also. If you can understand the trend, that is where technical analysis will beautifully work and you can start making money. So yeah, we are discussing about what trend is, right? You understand that trends are there everywhere. So let it be any instrument. Let it be in indices like Nifty or Bank Nifty. Let it be stocks like Reliance, HDFC Bank, ITC. Anywhere, if you look into the chart, you can see that at some period of time, that stock or that index or that instrument might be in a specific trend. 
it can either be in an uptrend or in a downtrend or in a sideways trend when you understand that when you learn how to practically use that you can start taking trades and make money by knowing what the correct trend is i hope you understand what trend is right it is a direction of price movement over a particular time period that particular time period is very important right Th that is depending on the kind of trader you are you will be looking into multiple time frames say you are an intraday trader what time frame of candles will you or on the chart what time frame of candlesticks will you be observing as an intraday trader you might be looking into 3 minute candles or, or 5 minute candles or even 15 minute candles correct so putting the 5 minute candles on the chart you can do a trend analysis and that trend analysis can tell okay the instrument is in such and such trend then if you actually uh, change the candlestick time frame to one day for example one day then you analyze the chart you might feel that okay this is in another trend so when you talk about trend mentioning the time frame is also super important so again trend is the direction of price movement over a particular time period we learn about this i mean give me some time nifty might be in a downtrend when you're looking into five minute candles at the same time when you're looking into a daily candle you might see that nifty is an uptrend correct so there are a lot of interesting things everything we learn no worries so moving ahead analyzing trend is very important to make money from the market we already know that trade with trend because trend as your friend again the most famous advice right so always be with the trend do not trade against the trend Th those are times when traders actually get caught and start losing money please don't do that so we are actually a really good learning community so when you learn well when you understand trend then when you take trades i hope you'll not lose money you'll start making profits right so trend can be different in different time frames so use what is best for you this is exactly what we discussed we'll see that going ahead as well so i hope you now understand what trends are now the question is before moving ahead to understanding what the different types of trends are uh, and how we can identify them let's talk about how trends are formed now you tell me let it be anything again let it be anything how trends are formed in anything for example let's see uh, how has trading become a trend trading has become a trend today again it is an unfortunate thing but again trading has become a trend today because a lot of people want that at the same period of time that is when it is a trend for example we talked about uh, photography becoming a trend at one point of time right everybody wanted to start a photography page on facebook i hope you remember maybe 4 5 6 years before right how did that become a trend a lot of people wanted the same thing at the same time that thing becomes a trend correct just like that when it comes to the stock market also maybe in a stock at one point of time everyone seems to be buying that stock and when everyone is seeing that others are buying the stock those people will also start buying the stock so everyone starts buying the stock and the stock becomes in an uptrend because everyone is buying it after some time maybe uh, there is any more good news about the stock or some bad news came and people start selling then some people start selling then other people start selling then everyone starts selling and then the stock is in a down trend i hope you understand right so it is it is very normal very natural human collective behavior which drives trends let it be in the market or let it be in anything that you see so trends in the market are just like any other trend in any other thing so we can read it read it here right trend is formed due to the collective action of market participants just like that it is just like that right uh, so the second point here is market participants include retailers hnis hnis is high net worth individuals mutual funds and other institutions because all these different market participants are watching the market together and when they say see that already some sort of a buying is happening they'll also join that and start buying and everyone's buying and an uptrend has formed i hope you are understanding this right now the next point is when large amount of money is pumped into the market it is usually staggered this is also a very important point you should understand now when we go ahead and learn about uptrend we we'll look at how what is the structure of an uptrend and you will understand what this point is so give me some time we'll understand this and the fourth point is also on the similar lines of what uh, this third point is saying which is buying profit booking more buying so when we look into uptrend which we'll do in say 2 minutes you'll understand what we are talking about here now what was the point here how a trend formed i hope you understand this trend is formed because of collective action of people and and that's exactly how technical analysis price action everything works going ahead we'll learn about support and resistance how does support and resistance gets formed again purely because of collective action of people see we learned about candlestick analysis already if you haven't learned i'll i'll put the link to the videos here right when we learned about candlestick formation also how are candlesticks formed because of collective action of 
people right when a lot of people start buying together a large green candle is formed so market is all about collective action of people let it be technical analysis price action and especially trend it is the collective action of people which drives certain actions in the market right now moving ahead again before learning about the three different trends what we should very importantly understand is how to identify trends now we'll quickly learn the theory of how to identify trends here then when we will learn about the three different types of trends i'll practically show you how to identify trends okay so two simple ways of identifying a trade so the first way of identifying a trade is simple observation you look into a chart very simple observation i'll i'll teach you what to observe just by observing a chart i'll teach you how to identify the trend amazing number two is by simple observation if you are not able to understand the trend you will be no worries but on top of that you can confirm the trend by using trend lines channel patterns and other indicators to identify price trend so what is the question how to identify trends two answers to you number one is simple observation of the chart you will understand the trend number two is by using by drawing certain lines horizontal lines trend lines on the chart you can actually learn what the trend is so yeah these are the two ways with which you can easily identify the trend just by looking at a chart and maybe by drawing some lines also on the chart cool so this is a theory of how to identify a trend now let's move ahead let's start learning about the three different big trends in the market there i'll teach you practically how to do these two things and identify a trend cool let's do that okay moving ahead let's learn about the three types of trend which can happen in any instrument let it be a stock let it be an index let it be a commodity let it be bitcoin or any cryptocurrency let it be let it even be forex when you look at a chart trends are universal everywhere because whatever the underlying instrument is it is human beings all around the world which are trading them and for that reason trends are formed in a very similar manner across different instruments so three types of trends are number 1 uptrend number 2 downtrend number 3 sideways trend again very plain very simple looks very simple but let's get into the intricacies of each one of them and understand more about them first one let's understand a bit more about uptrend now again going by the literal definition of uptrend what does it mean the stock or the index or the underlying instrument is moving up it is moving up over a period of time so we can see it is in an uptrend it is in a bullish trend very simple so price is moving up in a specific time as simple as that now our job is to understand by looking at a chart to and being in a position to say that okay it is in an uptrend and being in a position to take trades based on that isn't that what is important just by looking into a chart and saying that okay this is an uptrend is it adding any value to you no it adds value to you when you are able to look at a chart and say that okay this is in an uptrend and when this happens specifically i take a trade and when you make money with that trade that is when it becomes valuable and that is why i'm doing this video also and that those are the practicalities i'm going to teach you now anyways price is moving up in a specific time we call it in a, we call the instrument as in an as in an uptrend all good very good now the next last question is how can you actually look at a chart and say that it is in an uptrend is there a characteristic uh, characteristic for an uptrend yes when an instrument is in an uptrend it will move by creating higher highs and higher lows that is the characteristic of an uptrend because when a stock is in an uptrend it is not like the stock will just keep moving up it doesn't move just up 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 just like that no there is a characteristic move to that it will move up a bit then it will come down a bit then it will move up a bit then it will come down a bit so it moves by creating higher highs then higher low then a higher high then a higher low and that is always whatever instrument we are talking about that is how uptrend is created so when we understand this characteristic it helps us take a trade correct so anyways let's uh, uh, look into that and this is how it will help us uh, help us take a trade at a higher low we'll talk about that we'll look into a chart and we'll understand and again to beginners what i want to say is when you understand there is an uptrend happening in the market please don't go and short that stock please don't do that anyways now look, let's look into a chart and understand an uptrend now forget these lines that i've drawn here right now that is the drawing a line and and figuring out a trend right i said that's the second way of uh, understanding a trend even if those lines were not there you can simply look at it and say that okay price is moving up so it is in an uptrend and how is it moving up 
by creating higher highs and higher low then a higher high then a higher low then a higher high then a higher low so what, what does it mean see it is starting from here what is the price here nearly 800 rupees from 800 rupees it went up till what is the price here say 1000 rupees so that is a high it created a higher high right then it came down came down and created a low i'm sorry came down and created a low here what is the low here nearly if you see the price is 840 rupees and that low is higher than the previous low that is why this low is called a higher low then what happens then the index again moves up and cr creates a high here what is the high it is again slightly above 1050 and this high created is higher than the previous high so th that is why this is called a higher high and then it moves down right this it moves down till here a low is created a low if you see this is still higher than the original low so this again is a higher low then again it moves up moves up and created creates this high this high again if you look is higher than this previous high so this is a this is a higher high then it again mo moves down this is the low which it creates it is again higher than the previous high it is a higher low what does it mean what i say the characteristic of an uptrend is higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher low higher high higher low so when you understand this you are in a position to take a trade so just by looking at this you can understand that okay it is in a uh, it is in an uptrend it is creating higher highs higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low that is how the uh, stock is moving up now to confirm this you can draw what are called trend lines See, these trend lines, how are they drawn? I'll go to a chart and actually show you how to draw this, no worries. But if you see, how are those drawn? These are drawn by connecting the higher highs, at the same time connecting the higher lows also. By connecting them, if you can draw a line connecting the maximum number of higher highs and the maximum, maximum number of higher lows, that is a uptrend channel that you have uh, drawn on the chart now here if you ask me how to take practical trades with this again as written here you can buy at higher lows so if you confirm that okay this is an, an uptrend and so you wait till here for example you wait till this point you draw the channel and all you understand that okay it is in an uptrend it is creating higher highs and higher lows and at this point it came down touch this channel that we have drawn and it is a channel or it is a line which is connecting higher lows from here it is a higher low from a higher low in an uptrend there is a high chance that the stock can move to a higher high so you could have bought here right and if you 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 would have bought here what would have happened the stock would have moved up so much and you could have made good money right you can buy from higher lows also another thing you can understand is when you draw channels like this this lower channel if broken towards the lower direction then there can be trend reversal uptrend can come to an end when a higher low is broken and the stock can actually reverse and go into a downtrend or into a sideways trend so here if you actually see this was not broken this was respected the higher low was respected and then it went back into the uptrend just like that when the upper channel of an uptrend is broken there can be a break out on the upper side as you can see here when this upper channel is broken there is an actual breakout happening in the stock very clear some practical application also you have understood in that case let's go actually go into a real live chart and then look at a trend identify that being an uptrend and draw some trend lines also together let's do that okay so yeah here we have come to the chart it is chart of nifty and i'm looking into five minute time frame that is i am doing an analysis for probably an intraday trade i'm looking into the intraday movement of nifty on a five minute candle uh, five minute time frame right so this is the day i'm looking into so here if you see from here nifty actually started moving up then came down then moved up then came down then moved up then came down what is it creating it is creating a higher high then a higher low considering this being the original low moved up created a high moved down created a low which is much higher than the previous low then moved up created a high which is higher than the previous high then moved down created a low which is higher than the previous low i hope you get the point creating higher highs and higher lows and it is clearly in an uptrend just by looking at it and that's exactly what we learned right if you actually go back we learned about how to identify a trend number one is simple observation that we did now what is the second way you can use trend lines or channel patterns on stuff like that you can draw and the draw on the chart and then actually confirm a trend and then maybe practically take a trade also i'll show you that also right so here you can see that okay it's moving up so how can you actually draw trend lines here by connecting higher lows and by connecting higher highs so i go here i take a uh, this tool called drawing a trend line i i select the trend line tool right so i come here i am connecting the lower lows here and this is where as we have been learning over the uh, candlestick videos also when i say 
See, we need not always stick to theory just like that. If I am sticking sticking to the theory, I need to connect the this the first lower low also. It, which in case that also works, you can draw like this, or maybe you can make it like this, and you can start drawing from here also, which also works. So there is a bit of discretion which comes into the picture when you are analyzing candlesticks, when you are analyzing trends, and everything. When it comes to trading, there is a lot of discretion, and better your discretion is, the better trader you can become. Okay, so anyways, this is a very simple, quick uh, demonstration that I'm doing. So I'm taking another trend line and I'm connecting the higher highs also. See, this is the higher high, this is the higher high, this is the higher high, this is the higher high. So I'm connecting them also. I, I connected the higher lows, this higher low, this higher low, this higher low also, right? And what did I say in the how to practically apply a trend for taking a trade? So when it's coming down, maybe this first higher low you do not do not know. Then it moved up, created a higher high. Then it came down, and you look here. It's actually taking support here at the lower trend line, which is which are connecting the lower low. At the same time, look at this candle. It is a rejection candle. It is a hammer kind of a candle. We have learned about candle six, which shows that buying is happening here from the bottom of a trend line, which is connecting the higher lows when the instrument is in an uptrend. Isn't this a high probable setup that uh, the index or Nifty can go up from here? Yes, in that case, you could have bought Nifty here. How would you buy Nifty? Either buy Nifty futures or buy Nifty call option or even sell Nifty put option, right? We learn about options and futures, do not worry. So yeah, you could have bought it here. Again, assume that it is a stock stock itself, right? You buy it here, then it went up. You could have, you could keep your target near the uh, trend line, which is connecting the higher highs. You could have easily rode it from here till here. You could have made so much money. Understood? Just like that, I said, right, when uh, the underlying is actually breaking the trend line, then there could be a breakdown or if it is breaking on the upper end, upper side, there could be a breakout also. What happened here? It break down on the lower side. You could have short sell or you could have done short selling here and you could have made money here. Simple, right? So what did we learn here? Number one is there is something called an uptrend and the characteristic of an uptrend is higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. And you can confirm that by drawing trend lines and based on that, practically you can either take a new trend trade or you can exit your current trade also. Say you are in a short trade already and then things have changed in the market and there is an uptrend which is formed. What can you do? You can easily exit your current short tra trade that you've taken. Simple. In that case, let's move ahead and learn about downtrend just the opposite nothing major to be learned here right price is moving down in a specific time period as simple as that and what we should focus on is the characteristic of a downtrend what is the characteristic of a downtrend it creates lower lows and lower highs lower low lower high lower low lower high so it moves like this is what we can understand right so what you can practically do is short at lower highs because a lower low is created then it moves up creates a lower high then it moves down again so since you have a conviction that it can move down again then you can short at lower highs right so beginners do not buy when uh, the instrument is in a downtrend right be with the trend make trend your friend when is this in an uptrend try to buy always when it is in a downtrend try to do short selling always right let's look at a quick example to understand downtrend so here forget about the trend lines first let's just look at the stocks movement it is icici bank right it is moving down created a low then it moves up created a high and this high is lower than the original high so this is a lower high then it moves down again, creates a low, which is lower than the original low, which is a lower low. That is what it means. Creates a lower low, a lower high, then a lower low, then a lower high. Just the opposite of uptrend is what we can understand. Then you can draw trend lines uh, by connecting the lower highs and by connecting the lower lows also. And the same principles as that of a uptrend ap uh, applies here as well. That is when the stock actually moves up and it hits the upper trend line that is when it actually creates a lower high there is a high chance that it can actually move down again and this is where you can probably think about shorting the stock well just like we learned last time if there is a breakout from this trend line that is if it is breaking out from a lower high it is creating there can be actual good breakout on the upper direction you can probably take a long trade there or maybe you have to always wait for confirmation and only then take a trade right just like that maybe if the lower low is broken and if the lower trend line is also bro broken on the lower direction even there you can get good momentum and plan a trade there also
Cool. Now let's go into the chart and actually see a proper example there. So yeah, we've come to the charts. It's nifty again. It's five minute time frame again. Uh, I'm taking trend line. Okay, before taking trend line, let's look into this day alone, right? So this day, if you actually look, this day starts here. Five minute candles, it moves down and it comes till here. And then there is strong buying and the day ends, ends somewhere around here. If you look at the time, you can see it is 325, right? So just by looking into this price movement, you can simply say now, okay, it is in downtrend. How do you confirm it? You can see that it actually moves down, then goes up, cannot break the previous high, then it moves down again, creates a lower low, then it moves up a bit. Let me zoom in, right? Then it moves up a bit, creates a lower high, then it moves down, then it moves up, then it moves down a lot. So it keeps moving down, then up a bit, then moves down a lot more, then up a bit, which is the characteristic of a downtrend, right? Creating lower lows and lower highs. And we can again draw trend lines to confirm this, right? I'll draw trend lines like this. So if you see, I'm drawing like this, which is connecting the lower highs and the, at the same time, I'll be drawing like this as well, which is connecting the lower lows. So as you can see here, you could have taken some trade based on that. But at this point, as you can see, the stock or as of here, it is Nifty, right? Nifty is actually breaking out from this trend line, which means that it is breaking out. It is putting a stop to the downtrend. And what can we see here? It actually stopped being in the downtrend. It came down strongly here. And from here, then there was strong buying and it went up. So if you were originally in a downtrend here, exiting here would have made sense, right? Nothing wrong. So that is what you understand what a downtrend does. You understand how to draw trend lines by connecting if it is an uptrend, by connecting the higher highs and the higher lows. If it is a downtrend, by connecting the lower highs and lower lows. And then probably understand more about the market, understand more about the stock that you're looking into and probably take even better trades. Amazing. If that is the case, let's complete today's session by understanding what sideways trend is, right? Just like the name suggests, it suggests that the stock is in a sideways move, right? Price is consolidating in the time frame that you're looking. It isn't either moving up or it isn't moving down also. It is just moving sideways. It is consolidating within a price range, which means that the stock is consolidating. So similar lows and similar highs. If you look into the chart, you can see that similar highs are creating and similar lows are also being met. And that is the characteristic of a sideways trend, right? Now, the third point here is you can trade between the levels. And the last point is best trade is a breakout or a breakdown trade, which means that if a stock is in a sideways trend and if it is actually breaking out of the sideways uh, consolidation trend it was in, then it is a very good entry that you can take. It is a very good long entry you can take. Just like that, if the stock is actually breaking the lower side of the consolidation, zone and if it is moving down it is a very good short trade that you can look into right now let us look here and understand what we are talking about look at this the stock is actually uh, this is itc that we are looking into and it is it is consolidating in a zone between 199 here 200 and 216.95 on the upper side so it is creating a low here it is moving up it created a high then came down again moved up cannot break this high then came down till the low again then went up till the high then came down till the low so it is just consolidating within this time frame is what we can understand so how can you draw trend lines how can you confirm this trend you can draw a horizontal line which connects the lows of this consolidation zone and you can do a, draw a horizontal line which connects the highs of this consolidation zone. If the high is being break, broken, you can take a good breakout long trade. If this low is being broken eventually, you can take a good short trade. Within a consolidation, it is better not to take a trade. I've seen traders who've, who actually, uh, when they see that, when the stock actually comes down till the lower, zo lower zone of the consolidation zone and when there is a good green candle and good buying coming they take a long trade here because from here they can ride till here right they can make that profit just like that when the high is being touched when there is a good rejection candle and when there is a confirmation that there is selling happening in the market they short sell the stock also and they can make money in that short selling trade also right now let us quickly go into the chart and see an actual example so yeah we are looking into nifty again again five minute candles so if you see here from this point till this point nifty is consolidating between a uh, price zone of 17.580 to nearly 17.660. So that is nearly 20, 60, 80 points on Nifty is consolidating. So just by visually looking into it, you can say that in this point of time, Nifty is either consolidating or Nifty is in sideways trend. 
how can we confirm this by drawing lines right so here you don't draw a trend line the best way is you can draw a horizontal line here so what i'm doing here is i'm actually coming here i'm coming here and keeping it here which is connecting this low this low and this low and i'm drawing a line here just like that i'm coming here which is a place where all these highs are uh actually at the same place this high is also at the same place i'll draw a line here also i'm sorry i've ta i haven't taken the tool i'll i'll draw a line here also what can you see it's a proper sideways trend which is between two lines right these highs are at the same place and these lows are also at the same place so in this case again as i said you could have gone taken a long portion here booked your profit here or taken a short portion here waited till here and booked your profit here but what i would actually prefer i don't actually take a lot of trades within a consolidation zone i always wait for consolidation zone breakouts right break breakouts or breakdowns that is if nifty now again the day ended here save the day did not end here here nifty continued to trade and if this was bro broken out on the upper direction and the candlestick also confirms that there is good buying happening in the market you could have easily taken a buy trade here you could have made good money probably right just like that if there was breakdown on the lower direction if there is a large red candle which again confirms that there is large selling happening in the market you could have taken a short entry here and made money here so yeah that is what we had to learn about sideways trend also right so the larger agenda of the video is done you understand what trends are more importantly practically you understand what three different types of trends are what are the characteristic of each trends how can you confirm it by drawing trend line and how can you probably plan your trade it can either be exiting your current trade or entering a new, new trade by analyzing the trend if you can do that then amazing that is exactly what i wanted to deliver so before ending today's class i have few more things which i want to emphasize on number one is that this is something that we actually talked about when we began so i'll quickly talk about this again the fact that the time frame that you look into trade trend can depend on that this is exactly what we talked about earlier see you being an intra day trader you might be only looking into 5 minute charts and on 5 minute charts you might see that nifty is actually bearish but when you actually switch to a daily time frame if you are a positional trader you might actually be looking into a daily time frame on daily time frame you might see that nifty is in, nifty is in an uptrend which is absolutely okay so it depends on what kind of a trader you are then you have to look into that specific time frame and there you will see the trend that you want to see cool we'll actually go into the chart and see that also before doing that let let me read this quickly you have to use different time frame time frames for different types of trades when you are doing long term investment you do not you need to look into five minute chart and understand the trend there you only have to look into a daily time frame or even a monthly time frame and look into the trend there you only have to look into that see when you are a long term investor when you look into a monthly candle and when you are seeing the uh, when when you are seeing that it is in an uptrend you can be happy at the same time you being a long term investor and if you start looking into 5 minute candles and if you see a downtrend there you need not be in any kind of a panic panic at all i hope you understand this right just like that if you are a swing trader who takes positions for say a few days maybe a week or two then you have to look more into say hourly time frame or daily time frame and if you are doing intra day trading then you have to actually look into say a uh, 3 minute candle or a 5 minute candle and 5 or 15 minute candles and do your trend analysis there that is what is more important so and again a pro tip for intraday traders is that when your 5 minute candlestick trend analysis is telling that it is it is in an uptrend and when you do a daily time frame analysis when that also tells that it is in an uptrend amazing right two different time time frames actually confirming the same trend it is an, an amazing trend that you can take i hope you understand so what matters more most is what kind of a trader you are if you are an intraday trader you only have to see the trend uh, in a 3 or a 5 or a 15 minutes uh, time frame there if you see a nub trend you can probably buy it at the same time when you look into a daily time frame also there also if you see an uptrend then it is double confirmation for you i hope you understand the point right let us go into the chart and i'll actually practically show what i'm talking about i'm actually going to show you an example again in nifty this is daily candles for you i'm going to show an example where a positional trader and a long term investor should be looking at two different trends all together at the same time in nifty you can actually see there is bullish trend or uptrend or the, and there is downtrend also but you have to choose what trend you have to select i'll show what i'm talking about right so say you are a person 
who, are, who is looking into Nifty, right? And daily candle frame in Nifty. You see here that Nifty was moving up and up and up uh, from, say, uh, July of 2018 till August of 2018, Nifty is moving up. From there, then Nifty started moving down steadily. So you can say that Nifty has gone into a downtrend here, right? That is from September to October, Nifty is in a downtrend. You can clearly say that. Who can say that? A positional trader can probably look into say a swing trader. A swing trader normally takes a position for a few weeks or months, right? He can say that okay, Nifty was in an uptrend, then it continued, then it changed. There was a trend reversal, and then Nifty started being in a downtrend. Correct? But what happens in the market is that even a long-term investor actually hears this noise and gets affected by that. Because see what I'm doing. I am going to zoom out of this Nifty chart. Okay. I am zooming out from the Nifty chart. Zooming out, zooming, zooming out. Now you tell me, this 2018 thing, thing I showed is somewhere around here. Now you tell me, as a long-term investor, should you be actually concer concerned about the small downtrend there? No. As a long-term investor, if you actually see, it is in a beautiful uptrend, creating a higher high, higher low, then a higher high, higher low, then a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. It is only moving up and up and up. You get the point, right? So two things here. The trend actually depends on the time frame you're looking at. And the time frame you have to look at depends on who you are. If you're a long-term investor or a swing trader or an intraday tra trader, you have to look at different time frames. Because different time frames can tell you that the instrument is in different trend. Depending on who you are, you should take what is necessary. Don't get confused. Don't mix things. Be very clear as to who you are and what time frame you're looking at and what tra trend you're seeing and trade on that. Super important. I hope that's clear. Then we can end today's class with this, which is practical trading application. Let me tell what trend analysis that we learned today and the candlestick analysis that we learned over the last two videos. Marry them. Use them together and you can become a really good trader. And guess what? In the coming videos, we are going to learn about a lot more price action based trading techniques. We are going to learn a lot about really good technical indicators. Use all of these together wisely and then you can start taking good trades. So good that you're learning. Le you've learned so far and learned whatever videos are coming up ahead. You And after learning everything, you will be in a really good position to take really good trades. Right? So here just talking about the practical trading application. Number one, understand the current trend that you are in. Okay, say you are an intraday trader. Understand what the current trend is in the uh, instrument that you're looking into. Then if you understand the current trend, you can probably take a trade based on that. Then look for trend reversals. When you see that the trend is reversing, probably accept the trade. Accept the current trade that you are in. And when the trend reversal is confirmed, along with new trend formation and also along with maybe candlestick analysis, then you can take a reversal trade also. Even that is possible. So look at strength of breakout or breakdown candles using candlestick analysis. Candlestick analysis also super, super important. Use them together. Right. So take a trade or modify your trade accordingly. So yeah, when you understand the current trend that you are in, you probably are already in a trade. When there is something change to the trend which is happening, understand that. Confirm that one with trend analysis, number two with candlestick analysis, make sure how strong that is and then either modify your current trade or take a new trade. That is what you can do. So here I would end today's class with this. I know this is a very simple topic, but I wanted to deliver absolute pure value with this because I have seen, see, I've been trading for so many years now, so many years. Uh, you see my PNL, I put my PNL out in the public also. Even now, when I'm trading, these are the most basic things I look into. I still look into the candlestick, each candlestick pattern which is being formed. I still draw trend lines and try to understand what trend the instrument is in. And when trends are changed, I, I make changes to my positions also. And that is how I trade and make money. So that is, again, I really want to reestablish the fact that don't just keep away trend analysis and candlesticks as basic things in the market. Let me tell you, these basic things, when mastered right, are the things that will take you a very, very long way in becoming a really good trader, right? So yeah, that is it from my side for today's video. Make sure you smash that like button. You share the video with maximum number of people as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make your friends subscribe to the channel also. Get into the comment section. Ask me doubts. I'll make sure that I reply to each one of your doubts, right? So yeah, that is it from my side in this video. As always, let's learn, trade, invest, and grow together. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.